In this video, we're going to look at our different grouping options we have within our SmartView in Spark. Now, what do I mean by our different group options? Well, let's go over to my Mac. We can do this on Mac, iPad, and iPhone. We're first going to look at this on my Mac. When I'm looking at my email here, my inbox, I can see all of my different accounts here, and I can see all of the different emails from those accounts. And right now they are grouped together as a smart view, which means it's grouping all of my notifications together. It's grouping all of my emails from people together, and it is grouping all of my newsletters together. But what it is doing is it's grouping all of these different accounts together under newsletters as an example. So it's putting them all together. I can't see which newsletter is from which account. Well, what we're able to do is separate that out. What we can do is group these together by account. And we basically have two different views for this. So let's say I wanted to see them by account. Well, what we need to do on the Mac, I'll show you how you do this on the iPad and iPhone shortly. On the Mac, what we do is we go up to Spark in the menu bar, and then we go over to our preference. Under Preferences, you're going to see General, and then we go over to Smart Inbox. When we're looking at a Smart Inbox, we can see all of our different categorizations. So we're going to pick on newsletters here. Now, right now, it is grouping them by the unified inbox, which means, let's go move this out of here, which means that these emails here can come from any one of these accounts in my inbox, in my unified inbox. Well, if I go and change how they are grouped, let's go with grouped first. Watch what happens. I'm going to select this. We're going to move this out of the way so then you can get to it easily. You're going to see that when I go back over to my newsletters, I now have my two accounts. Why are there only two and not the third account? Well, that's because my school account is not in my unified inbox. I have a separate video on unified inboxes, but what we can do is we can exclude different accounts from our unified inbox. So then it doesn't show in this list. So right now I'm looking at these two accounts. I want to see all the newsletters from my Gmail account. All I do is just select it, and now I'm looking at the emails from my Gmail account. To close it, I click on the X, and then I can look at all of the emails from my iCloud account. So it's grouping them together by account. I mentioned well, that we have another view. Like actually, this, I have two what we can do this. is, well, instead of grouping them together like this, what we can do is we can separate them out so we have two different newsletter categories. I'm not a big fan of this view, but I'll show you how it looks and maybe you want to try it. So we go back over to our preferences. Remember, I have this open here. And instead of grouped, what I'm going to do is choose per account. When I do that, what it's going to do is it's going to separate these out and I'm going to have a newsletters tab for my Gmail account and I'm going to have a newsletters tab for my iCloud account. So it's basically going to have two different accounts. So instead of grouping them together by account this way, it's going to group them by account this way. So let's go ahead and select this. And now we can see I have my .Mac newsletters. And then I also have my iCloud newsletters. So I want to go through all of my .Mac. All I have to do is just go over, click on it, and I can go through all of those emails. I want to go through my Gmail account newsletters. Go down here to my Gmail account or my iCloud account. I got them mixed up there. So that is how we can group them together. And we can do this for each type of category. So if I want to do this for my notifications, I go over to notifications and I can change the grouping. Now what I prefer to have it as unified. So I'm going to change this back to unified and I'm going to put this back to three. So now we have all of my notifications, no matter which account they're from, as long as it's set up in my unified inbox. Again, I have another video on that. And then I also have all of my newsletters. It doesn't matter which account. They could be from my .Mac or my iCloud account, but they're going to be in this grouping here. Now, I mentioned that you could do this on the iPad and iPhone. Let's see where these settings are on the iPad and iPhone as well. So I'm going to go to my iPad first. And what we need to do is go to our settings for Spark. So I'm in Spark here. And now what I do is I go to the upper left-hand corner where we have our three horizontal lines. And then down at the bottom, we have our settings. 
When I click on Settings, I go over to my Smart Inbox. And under Smart Inbox, we have my different categorizations. So let's pick on Newsletters. I go to Newsletters here. And now I can set how I want them grouped. Do I want them unified, grouped, or per account? On the iPhone, same kind of thing. We go to the three lines at the very top. We go to Settings at the very bottom. We go to our Smart Inbox here. We can see all the different types. I'm going to go to Newsletters again. And when I go to Newsletters, I'm able to set how I want them grouped. So that's how we can change our grouping for our emails within our SmartView. We can group them all together by our unified inbox. We can also group them together by account. We do this through Spark's Preferences on the Mac and Spark's Settings on the iPad and iPhone. So that's how we can set how our emails are grouped together within our SmartView and Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, if you like what you saw here, what you may want to do is like the video. Give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube that you like it. And maybe what I can do then is help other people because they'll recommend my video to other people. You can also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about my videos, I do have over 1,600 videos available, easy to follow videos on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. You can find those on danstutorials.com. In addition to having over 1,600 videos, you can also keep track of which lessons you've taken, you can take notes, you can favorite tutorials. So if you'd like to learn more, take a look at my dancetutorials.com. I hope this video was helpful and helping you learn more about your Apple device.